What do you want to achieve this year? Yes. What is your plan this year? What do you want to do this year? What do you want to do? I'm helping. To uh, have business success. Have a lot of brand business. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, so here, to, this year is a, a mounting moving faith. It requires us uh, so much faith for our goals. So uh, in a in a in a definition, faith is a choice. It's a choice we make to trust God with every word, and every action, and every moment of every day. So that's a good. It's, it's a quote actually. It's a quote that I found in the internet. So. Uh, the title of our lesson for today is actually it's a series. Okay, it's a, it has three points, but we're gonna talk about one point today. So faith is more than a feeling. So my uh, the our, our our point for today is faith is a focus. So if you have your Bible, let's open our Bibles in Matthew 14. In Matthew 14, verse 23 to 31. Are you there? So the Bible reads, After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat was already, already a considerable distance from the land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to what to you on what on the water. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out to his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? So this is a very amazing story. There's a guy named Peter. Uh, let's uh, go back to the, uh, the, the very beginning. So here, there are a group of people that in the boat. And there, there's a man named Jesus that walking in water. And then when uh, the, the people in the boat saw that man in the water, Jesus Christ, that walking, is they, they are terrified because it's already night and then they're seeing someone that floating in the midair. So they are terrified. They're in fear. So, But one of them fell that uh, and the, the guy on the water said, it is I, Jesus Christ. And then one of them, one of the people, the man in the boat told the, the, the man in the water that uh, if you are Jesus Christ, they, uh, let me to uh, let me to walk on water. So and then in the in the first steps that uh, that man named Peter walking in, he walked in water, but when he looked at this waves and this uh, wind, he, he got he got fear and then beginning to sink. So that's the uh, bare, the, the summary of the question uh, the, the story. So in this point, uh, I want to focus. I want to focus on the verse thirty, where it says, "But when he saw the wind." So Peter sees the wind. When when he, when Peter sees the wind and the waves, he began to sink. So now it would really easy for Peter in this situation to blame the wind and the waves as. Uh, their fault for him sinking. So if we are we are honest, we are uh, we are doing the same thing in our lives. When we we, we uh when we, we we are sinking in our life, we blame our circumstances. We blame the things surrounding us. We blame people uh, uh, around us for for us sinking. For us that we are uh, lack of, in our lack of faith, we blame others. But 
uh, but don't know what I've been to. Uh, but when when people tell us that we are having a lack of a lack of faith, we are telling them, oh, you don't know what I've been through last year. It's very hard. Oh, you don't know how tough things have been. Especially uh, 2020 is very hard for uh, every one of us. I've lost faith because God stopped providing for me for a long time ago. So that's our things that uh, we are always telling people if they talking to us. But so often we blame the circumstances surrounding us. We always do that. Me too. I'm always uh, sometimes do that, always do that. But faith, it's so much more than just being dependent on our circumstances. Because we see in this situation with Peter, the waves and the winds can't be the one to blame because a couple of minutes earlier before he saw that, Peter was was walking on the water just fine. He did an impossible thing for human to walk on water. Only in the in the in the history, only Jesus Christ and Peter walk on water. Maybe you're seeing David Blaine walking on water. Maybe that's it. <laughs> but that's they just call it magic. But for this, this situation, uh, Peter was walking on the water uh, on even though the winds and the waves are, are there. So they, he cannot blame this circumstance around him. So the wind and the waves are not what has changed in this situation. Cir circumstances are here in our life have not changed. What, what changes here is Peter focus. So we see the, uh, the, in, the ver uh, in, the, in the verse that we, uh, says that when Peter saw the wind, meaning that when Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, his focus on Jesus, he is walking just fine on the water. But when he switched his focus, that, that is when he lost his faith and began to sink. And let's be honest to each uh, other, doesn't, uh, doesn't the same thing happen to our, in our lives? It's when we begin to shift our focus away from Jesus Christ and we focus on the people around us or uh, anyone that we are pursuing or being a, being a, be, being a perfect teacher or being, being a perfect person, a perfect leader, or having a perfect leader or just thinking uh, on our dreams, on our goals. We are too focused on our, the things around us. When we shift our focus on that, that's when we lose our faith. But we see it can also have the op opposite effect. We see when we allow our focus to establish rather than our feelings or our feelings about our circumstances, then amazing things start to happen. Impossible things is easy for us. We can, we can, we begin to walk on the water. We see when we establish our focus on Jesus, then the winds may blow and the waves may rise. But because we have faith, we have a focus, we will walk on water with a, uh, with a strong, strong faith. So this year, I'm encouraging everyone to really have this kind of faith to have focus just on Jesus Christ and not focus uh, on our circumstances. 2021 is just begun. It's all, almost 16 days in 2021. So what I'm encouraging everyone is to really have this kind of faith in our heart and to really dig down in our quiet time that's the only way that we can grow our faith and we can focus on Jesus Christ and to really apply it into our life. If God telling us to, to walk on water, don't hesitate. Don't, it's an invitation for, from, from Jesus Christ that we will walk on water. Have faith that we can do that. If we are, our goal, our, uh, our goal this year to baptize or multiply our Bible talks, have faith. Bring friends, bring uh, people to Christ. Let's evangelize and uh, really go towards what we are uh, dreaming for to multiply this uh, Bible talk and to split it 
in uh, into two before June. And uh, let's us pray for that. Let's uh, ask for that. Uh, let's uh, really give all, give it all to God. And really, uh, just yesterday, one of my friend moms died because of coronavirus. So it's really hard for them to really. And I just realized that that situation can even happen to me. So what is stopping me to have faith and to really reaching out to my family, reaching out to my friends, and to really uh, give them the the giving them the opportunity that uh, God gave me as a as a disciple. So my practical here, my, my practical here is to really uh, let list down all the the big mountains in our in our life that were what we want to uh, to achieve. At, at achieve this year and uh, to really uh, list down all the steps or what it, it will take to, to achieve that goal. If you want to, to be fruitful, if you want to achieve this one, what are, are your steps? What are your, what are your, your faith steps for able for th- that to achieve? If you want your business to, to, uh, to, uh, to become successful, what are your steps uh, on a on, on achieving that so what if you want to uh to strengthen your spirituality what are your steps if you want to finish a uh, a, a particular course or particular major what are your steps or big faith step to really up, 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 attain that and to really for able for you to get your focus to jesus christ for able for you if any circumstances that will uh, will uh came across your your path will Will, you, you will overcome. So brothers and sisters and friends, faith is more than a feeling. Faith is a focus. Thank you very much. To God be the glory. Come on. Awesome. Do you want to share? Awesome. Bro. Come on. Yeah. I can yeah. go first. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, uh, thank you so much, um, Rafael, for that um, wonderful lesson about faith. Um, I really appreciate the story of Peter about uh, giving his trust to Jesus Christ, and along along the way, you know, um, he was tested if he is um, he if he's continuously focusing on on Jesus uh, and then uh, it was revealed you know God revealed his heart that um, he can be distracted with with other things more than uh, Jesus Christ and a lot of times I can see myself uh, like that that uh, if circumstances that I do not expect uh, to happen my faith that I mean my faith gets slow or sometimes I, you know, we, I felt discouraged or I felt, um, you know, uh, distracted. But uh, I'm very grateful for this, um, this time um, that we are reminded, that I'm reminded to keep my focus on, on Jesus Christ. And I think um, one of the things that uh, I mean, it, it actually happened, like, for example, this COVID, you know, uh, we did not expect these things to happen. And uh, things happen, like, uh, sometimes uh, it's a threat, like, oh, we will, people are losing jobs and stuff. And so sometimes we can be out of our focus, like, uh, where is Jesus? Is Jesus going to save me for this situation? And then... Uh, 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 it's a good reminder for me and for us to keep my focus back on Jesus Christ and to really walk on water together with Him. That we can do things together, we can do this together, and then um, just having the faith that is focused on Jesus. <laughs> so thank you so much, Raph. <laughs> That's my decision. <coughs> awesome. Come on, can I share? Oh, wow, yes, awesome. Oh, wait, yeah, can I share first? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Awesome. Thank you, bro, for pitching the word. And yeah, thank you for reminding us to, to set our focus. To where do we set our focus is that in Jesus Christ, just like how um, the story of Peter. Most of the time, uh, personally, I am out of focus. Like um, I tend to... Um, like um give my time and focus more on the circumstance uh circumstances that i'm in to all the oppositions all the winds and the waves that may come in in my life but um um but still i'm grateful for for the bible grateful for for the discipling and the scriptures because um we are um these scriptures are um lead, leading us back to where do we set our focus that is on Jesus Christ, that is in our faith in God, and that um, for us not to forget that we are not here alone, and that um, we'll just um, trust in Him because He who promises is faithful. And yeah, thank you for giving us this, um, this point, bro. And yeah, thank you so much. Amen. How about you, Bryce? Uh, hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Um. Yeah. Thanks for sharing, bro. Uh, I think uh, it's very true. Uh, it's good uh, this year to really start planning and having a focus, and especially if we wanna. Uh, build up our faith and uh, I like that title uh, faith is not a feeling mm -hmm. um, so yeah bro thank you bro thanks for sharing How about you Kim Hoon do you want to share mm, I don't think <laughs> <laughs> Amen. so uh, before we finish I have again two requests for uh, Open your cameras and let's take a picture with the first one. <laughs> let's take a picture. Kim Hon, let's take a picture. Ready? Muy pi. Smile. Bye. Wait it, wait it. Ready? Muy pi. Bye. Awesome. So, and then my last uh, request is, can we pray before we finish? <laughs> Let us pray. Uh, dear Heavenly Father God, uh, thank you God for this wonderful day that you gather us uh, in uh, in Zoom, God, as our as we discuss, God, and really uh, thank you God for your word, God, for your lesson, God, that you speak through me. And I hope and I pray that your words, God, penetrate God in our hearts, God, and really uh, have the, the focus, God, on you, on Jesus Christ for this year and to really establish a, um, a mountain moving faith in our hearts and really knowing, God, that uh, faith is more than a feeling, God, really faith is focused, God. God, thank you, God, for your word. Thank you, God, for the life, God, of Candy, Bryce, Kimohon, and Vanessa. Uh, be with us as we uh, uh, face the, uh, the remaining hours of the day, God, and for the remaining uh, uh, days of the week. Uh, thank you, God, for everything, God. Thank you, God, for your grace and mercy. Thank you, God, for your everlasting love. And uh, we, we are praying this, and we are praising you. We are honoring you, God, and all these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, so Amen. Thank you, Amen. So, see you again next Saturday for this amazing online Bible discussion. Bye. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye, Candy.